in early November 2013 at the Wilson Home. Vivi. Just a few days earlier, Vivian's parents were surprised by a call from one of the only two dispensaries currently open in the entire state of New Jersey. They say they have a strain of cannabis that is low in psychoactive THC and high in therapeutic CBD. Good morning. After a year of fighting Governor Chris Christie, this is Vivian, and then months searching for doctors to prescribe cannabis, she has seizures, correct? The Wilsons are finally getting marijuana in their hometown. Here. But once they pick up the cannabis at the dispensary, they're confused. It's 0.13% THC and 0.13% CBD. Okay, why don't you go to this? This isn't like picking up a standard prescription at the pharmacy. There are no standard doses or federal guidelines. Your CBD is your three point. CBDA. Yeah, right, yeah. That's, yeah. that's the one that you want. CBB. But they leave uncertain, not knowing exactly what they're getting. And here's another problem. What they get at the dispensary are leaves Vivian can't use. And how many grams of say we're gonna do? Half box. It's up to her parents to make medicine out of those leaves. For that, they're using this glorified crock pot to activate the plant and turn it into an oil. So once we have oil, we, we, we still don't know exactly what the ratio is because it's not gonna be exactly what this says because it just went through this heating process. It's trial and error. Something we heard from so many medical marijuana patients. So I do a mixture of THC, CBN, and CBD. It's a great guy. Frank Bianco had to experiment with many different strains of marijuana to find the right kind to treat his chronic pain and arthritis from an old football injury. If I'm experiencing extreme pain in my knee and I want to get medicated faster, I'll do a dab hash oil. My body's exhausted, my knee's going to be sore, maybe a little swelling on the joint. Maybe I'll sit down and smoke some flour. Prescribed painkillers had made him sick, so he was desperate and willing to try something new. Literally within 15, 20 seconds, uh, the pain just went away. It was gone, absolutely exited the body. Turns out the most common use for medical marijuana is pain. Early studies suggest that cannabis binds to receptors in the brain and the body to reduce inflammation and provide a buffer against pain. Yet according to Stanford-trained Dr. Margaret Getty, there is no one set standard cannabis treatment for pain. So patients are kind of let loose in the sense that they have to try things and find out which strain works and it might be different at different times. Frank now works in the Stanley's lab, where he helps to make the medicines that he takes morning, noon, and night. A variety of different strains. He says his pain is gone and he functions well. It's a mix that works for him. Is it risky to be doing the trial and error process? There are some risks. You don't know your, your baseline for what milligram, your edibles that, that you can ingest. Um, if you ingest too much, I mean, you could like pass out. Some of the stories I've heard have been people who followed recipes, and I've had children admitted to psychiatric emergency rooms, um, psychotic from the marijuana product. I'm good, how are you? And that is why Dubinsky feels that job number one is to make medical marijuana safe reliable and effective. One way to do that is through research, which is why since the summer of 2013, he's been trying to begin the first ever United States research trial on GW's new cannabis-based epilepsy drug. But the hurdles have been nearly insurmountable. If you're trying to look at the potential medicinal benefits, it's very hard to get funding. After many months, Davinsky was able to secure funding and approval from his hospital, New York University. But getting the government, specifically the FDA, the DEA, and the Bureau of Narcotic Enforcement to sign off was nearly impossible. One of their biggest issues was security. So as part of this, you had to have a safe put in. This is new and, and only for this project. A 1,200-pound safe watched by multiple security cameras and alarm systems, all for a drug so low in THC that it can't get you high. And even with that, Davinsky is still waiting for final federal approval. The failure of the federal government through its regulatory arms, DEA, FDA, and the like, has led to a public health debacle. Patrick Kennedy, with his deep political connections and famous name, is pushing the feds to fast-track cannabis research. They ought to get at it quickly. That's yes. my idea. FDA, the, the federal government, they ought to just 
get it done. We just need a greater urgency uh, to this issue overall. Signature it's a bold statement for Kennedy, a recovering addict who's been outspoken that making medical marijuana legal in any way is dangerous, that more children will be able to access it, and more smokers will become addicted to it. Now he thinks the only way to remove that risk is to have all medicinal marijuana products federally regulated, rigorously studied, and strictly controlled. I think making this truly a medicine, as opposed to forcing people to go on the street and try to buy something that they can't determine whether it is what it says it is. But he understands why extremely sick patients want marijuana now. Remember his father, Ted Kennedy, died of brain cancer, and his brother lost his leg to cancer. I wouldn't have begrudged any member of my family with cancer, and they've all had cancer. Anything that would have mitigated the chemotherapy. It's why Kennedy is meeting with everyone, from the FDA to the White House, to speed things up. But it takes time. Hand your green. Time the Wilsons don't have. They're finally going to try their new homemade cannabis oil. We weren't able to get it tested or anything, so we really still have no idea what it is. Um, which is why we have to be really cautious. Behind closed doors, Brian tries it to make sure he doesn't get high. He doesn't. Open up. So Vivian is next. It doesn't work. Nothing in New Jersey seems to work for them. Vivian's seizures won't stop. Is moving the only option left for the Wilsons? Joseph.